All right, welcome to this weekend's sidereal forecast for August 7th through the 9th. My name is Athen. So we've got Saturn easing up off that square energy with that three-way conjunction there in Leo between Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury. It's been a lot of this serious energy, but you know, Jupiter, you know, is always the planet of expansion, so we're seeing possibilities. We're we're having we have this inspiration. But Saturn there is making sure that we're taking it slow, making sure that we're seeing the long road. We're putting in that discipline and energy. So that's going to continue to be the case because, you know, it's it's an ongoing theme, but uh, um, especially on Friday. But as soon as we get into about Saturday and then Sunday, the energy starts to ease up. And then with the sun, as you can see, we'll be transiting into Leo as we go through the weekend as well. So there is this freedom of self-expression, this energy of feeling like, you know, we can be ourselves and it's very creative. And so, you know, expressing ourselves and tapping into that passion, I think will slowly start to be an emphasis where it doesn't feel as heavy. It doesn't feel as serious because this is a very playful, very lighthearted part of the chart. We do have a lot of planets here. Um, so now with the sun, the sun shifting in here in dignity, um, it can really magnify that, especially with these planets coming off of um, that square from Saturn. So um, that's going to be as the weekend unfolds, but on Friday in particular, the moon is still going to be in Aries, so it's very much about that direct assertive energy. As you can see here, Friday um, around mid to late part of the day and maybe even early Saturday for those of you in Europe, um, there is this opposition between the moon and Saturn, who's then going to be squaring up to that stelium there in Leo. So the key with this is to find the middle path between the um, personal life, which is the moon, our sentiments, domestic life, perhaps things like this, with whatever these long-term things or projects or work or whatever it is with Saturn, to find the middle path with that, the balancing point. Um, and this is particularly involving the self, which is, you know, Friday will be a time of asserting self, focusing on goals, energy, active energy, things like that. But remembering that Saturn here in Libra has been showing us the high road with relationships, the mature road, you know, to have that 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 discipline there with our one on one connections, with balance and peace and harmony in our life, which is so important, all areas of life, you know, to have balance in all areas. So not going to any extremes there and in and, and, and realizing too that there's really no opposition between these two parts of the chart. You know, what's good for us is good for others. So seeing it in that kind of light in your own way, of course, um, is a good way of working with this. And then the square energy does signify, especially because we're still in this third quarter phase of the lunar cycle. Uh, perhaps willing ourselves, perhaps getting that active energy moving perhaps taking initiative, perhaps seeing something here about these passions, about these ideals, maybe with the relationships or the values, or maybe with the way we're thinking about things, uh, how we can, you know, prolong that, how we can continue to work hard at that. Because, you know, again, this is all about expansion into the future. This is all about future passions, future ideals, and things like that. So it's a slow and steady approach, but maybe there are some things that we can take um, towards that on Friday in particular. So as you can see here in the transit chart, that's the set. These are all basically the Saturn transits um, easing up here on Friday. And then as the Friday unfolds, that opposition up to Saturn. So then there's a definitive shift as we start to get into Saturday, especially midday, maybe a little bit later for those of you in Europe. And that's going to be the moon shifting into Taurus around this time. So as you can see, there's no major aspects. And we are approaching a new moon next week, so the energies will be dying down a little bit. So on Saturday, I do recommend uh, anything that is about relaxation. Uh, enjoying the simple pleasures, the senses, the enjoyments of life, the values. I think there'll be a natural concern for those things. And with the moon squaring up to Neptune, maybe there is some rest and relaxation or some spiritual time that's needed uh, during this because it, it may have been very busy depending on your personal chart over the past two weeks. And so now with things easing up, um, you know, especially with a square up to Neptune, it's important that we do that introverted spiritual stuff today or on Saturday. And then through that, that will be the calming, that will be the intuition, that will be the flow that we can then find as we start to get into next you know, next week. So here on Sunday, you know, as we get into it, the moon's still in Taurus. So the good meal, the relaxation, things are certainly highlighted there. Middle path with that, of course, especially with Venus retrograde. We don't want to go to any extremes with that. But that's the time for this. And it's also the time for the material values as well. So on Sunday, uh, we do have some nice aspects. Actually, we enter into the balsamic phase, which is the sun sextiling up to the moon. 
Um, so an easy flow of energy there, especially again with our self-expression and anything creative, which is this Leo energy. Um, and then sextiling Uranus. So here it's very good for trying something new, trying something exciting, something out of the ordinary. We may get some new insight, a new perspective, a new way of looking at things, which is bringing in this fresh new look going into next week. Because like I said, we do have that new moon approaching. So this is freshness. This is, you know, but it's an opportunity. Okay, so it's not a given, but it's certainly available. So I do recommend, you know, uh, if you get, uh, you know, an in intuitive guidance or something like that to try something new or to think about something in a different way, I think you can find that very freeing and also very healing as well with the moon squaring up to Chiron. And this is really emphasized by really just letting go of the reins, relaxing and realizing that there's a higher power at work, which is both of these planets in Pisces. And that through that, we can find naturally that freedom and liberation, which has been these transits and healing as well. So that's the gist of the weekend, certainly coming off of that very heavy Saturn approach to things um, here on uh, Friday, and then remembering to balance that with the emotional side of life and our sentiments and personal life as well. Then on uh, Saturday, it is you know the moon in Taurus, so enjoying those simple pleasures while perhaps getting that rest or spiritual time out. And then Sunday, a day perhaps of mixing things up, trying something new, um, and all of that perhaps being very healing as well going into next week because there is, again, a fresh new look, a fresh new perspective. So have a nice week, everyone. Thank you again for all of your support. If you have any questions, I'm here, and I'll talk to you all next time.